If Christ is God, right. how come that God sends a messenger with a different religion to another part of the world, another human? You bet. How, co how come that? Real simple. Yes. If Jesus spoke the truth, he did. Then Muhammad like is not from God. What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> hey, you're contradicting my, my, my question here. You're contradicting my question. Jesus always spoke the truth. Yes. How come Jesus sends, as you claim it, that, that's my point here, if you claim, that's a big point here, if you claim right. that the Lord Jesus Christ is God, right. and God, Jesus speaks the truth, or God speaks the truth to your knowledge, how come that Jesus, or that God, sends another messenger? That's, that's... It's, it's real Jesus. simple, sir. That's if good. Jesus, it's real simple. Yes. If Jesus spoke the truth, he did. anybody who contradicts him is not speaking the truth. You're, you're not, you're not listening to, hey, hey, hey. Wait, well, I'm wait, your wait. point. You're not answering my question here, class. I answer this straight up. How? How? If Jesus spoke the truth, yes. anybody who contradicts Jesus is not speaking the truth. Two contradictory ideas cannot be equally true. Well, let's talk, let's talk about my example here. Well, there are arguments about how come Jesus sends Muhammad the messenger to other, uh, to other society. Obviously, I don't believe Muhammad spoke from God because he contradicts Jesus. Oh, you're telling me, you're telling me that uh, uh, this part of Christianity exists only on this world? There are more Islamic people than Christian on earth. What are okay. you saying here? Good. Great question. Well, Great question. Listen. What I'm saying is majority opinion does not determine truth. I'm standing here saying, if about, there are more Christians in America hey, than non-Christians, hey, it doesn't make Jesus Christ true. We're talking if about, there are more Muslims than Christians, it doesn't make Islam true. If there are more Christians than Muslims, it doesn't make Jesus Christ true. Uh, Truth sir, stands on its this own, is, this is separate ignorant. from majority opinion. You're ignoring the human being. They are like you. Those people are like you, you know? What do you mean? The other religions, the other people from other religions are like you. Yeah, we're all humans. Okay. Are you telling me that they don't have a religion? Are you no, telling me that they don't have a God? Are you saying that they don't? Just because they don't believe in, I can't say the word, but are you saying that right. they, are, they, are, they, are, they are in a different world? Are you telling Real. me that? All right, I'll just quote Jesus for you, okay? Uh, we that'll know, help. we know, I'm sorry, I know. I, 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 we know the quotations, we know that. We know that, we know that. Excuse me. All right, Sir. Jesus says in Matthew 7, 15, watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are But my question, my question is telling you that he himself is God, he made this happen. How come he sends this false thing to to Well, obviously, I'm disagreeing with your assumption. Who did if he did if he didn't? That God did? sent Muhammad. Obviously, that's what I disagree with. Who did? Who did? Yeah. I think well, I lean towards believing Muhammad sent himself. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. How come? No. Let's let's continue. He, he sent himself. Uh huh. And billions of people believed him. Uh huh. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, okay. You. That doesn't make okay. sense. Okay. What do you mean? It's totally sensible. Right? Jesus sent you, right? Let's say you're Muhammad. That means Jesus sent you. Jesus sent Muhammad. For what purpose? No, but wait a second. Look, it's real simple. If I stand out here and say to you, I believe in Jesus, and then I go and rape this woman, I hope you look me in the face and say, Cliff, you're a hypocrite. It makes sense to me. If you, Cliff, are going to say that you believe in Jesus and you go out and rape women, you're a hypocrite, Cliff. Because if you believe in Jesus and then you contradict what he teaches, you're, you're phony. All right, okay. so what I'm saying is, if Jesus is the truth, if he spoke the truth, then anybody who claims to be a prophet from God who contradicts Jesus is not speaking the truth.